Welcome to one of our churches on the second Sunday in this month when we're thinking about the light of the world, Jesus showing himself at uh, Christmas. You're welcome to come and spend time in our churches on Wednesdays and Sundays. The carols by candlelight and the midnights will have to be by ticket only to make sure we don't get too full. And ring 837147 to book your space. So here we have the Holy Family. Mary, probably quite small. She may have been only about 14. People used to get married much younger in those days. And Joseph, notice he's supporting Mary. He had quite a difficult time understanding what was going on. But they're going to be the focus for our communion and then the star above. We found during this season that sometimes less is more. So notice there's no expression on the faces. That's left for your imagination and mine. And at the foot here, we're going to have communion. So I hope you're ready at home. It's been very good to share with you now over several months. I'm going to say the creed. This is a creed setting which uh, scans. We believe in God the Father, God Almighty by whose plan earth and heaven sprang to being, all created things began. We believe in Christ the Saviour, Son of God in human form. Virgin born, the child of Mary, upon whom the Spirit came. Christ who on the cross forsaken, like a lamb to slaughter led, suffered unto Pontius Pilate, he descended to the dead. We believe in Jesus risen, heaven's king to rule and reign, to the Father's side ascended, till as judge he comes again. We believe in God the Spirit, in one church, below, above, saints of God in one communion, one in holiness and love. So by faith our sins forgiven, Christ our Saviour, Lord and Friend, we shall rise with him in glory to the life that knows no end. So here are the eternal symbols of bread and wine. There have been ordinary things on the table, and uh, we're just using ordinary pottery. Often God takes the ordinary and speaks in an extraordinary way. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you've created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing holy, holy, holy Lord God of might heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So as we come to focus on these symbols of bread and wine, we are one in communion together. Lord, you're holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who on the same night that he was betrayed, took bread, gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, and when he'd given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, 
Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send your Holy Spirit on all receiving this Holy Communion, both in hearts and minds. May these symbols be for us, the body and blood of Christ. And we remember with all the saints your presence with us today and pray that we may be inspired through God's Spirit to make a difference in our own lives, in the lives of our neighbourhood and in the wider world. Father of, Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you set before us so that we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. So join with me as we receive the body of Christ, broken for all of us, wherever we are, whoever we are. The body of Christ keep us in eternal life. And the blood of Christ. bless you and keep you make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his peace his strength his wisdom his love and his laughter and the blessing of God almighty the father the son and the holy spirit be with us all amen <laughs>